I fit in. I am, I'm perfect. I'm a good little person following the crowd. Ask yourself, what are you trying to get from this person? What you're trying to hide from this person? We try to fit in and just be like everyone else and therefore be, not be able to be loud and not be able to be yourself. Always trying to just do what the mainstream does. And you want to follow your, you know, follow the crowd. Follow the crowd no matter what, right? Follow the crowd no matter what. And that's what we see, like people don't follow their purpose because they follow the crowd. They are not leaders. They don't want to be a leader. By the way, um, click on the link in the description if you want to apply for my coaching calls. There's a link in the description, very easy to find. Go click on the link and I will see you probably on one of my calls. Being vulnerable is very magnetic. Not this facade of just fitting in with everyone. Just being vulnerable, being authentic. That's what is magnetic. And it doesn't mean you're just vulnerable and people like, you know, when, when we think about vulnerable, we think about stupid. We think about people getting betrayed, you know, toxic, like people that are toxic using you for something. Like have boundaries in those circumstances, of course. Like if people make, if people <laughs> take advantage of you, like, I don't even know why I still need to say it. Like, of course you need boundaries for that, okay? Of course you need boundaries for that but being vulnerable is very good okay it's very good for being this magnetic force instead of trying to you know be some good little boy or girl trying to fit in and just doing everything as it's supposed to be as you're supposed to do if this is me right now you can either resist it or own it for example, a lot of people, they are insecure about how they look or how they talk or how they communicate. And you see this in social media as well. Like people have all these filters on and it's, people don't like you anymore. They just like your filter. They just like you with your filter on and, and makeup on and whatever. And for guys like you with the big car behind you, that's not even yours. Like, it's just not you. It's not authentic. So just kind of be like, be yourself, show up authentically in a way that is connected, connecting with people, right? Not in a weird way, that, but kind of relating to people as well, but also in a fun way. That is what really is rare these days is just this authenticity, no filter, no nonsense, just being authentic, being real and owning all those things of like, I'm insecure about how I talk, this and that, own it. Or if, I, if you're insecure about your looks, own it. So don't hide it. You also will feel a larger connection, kind of unity out of your ego because in your ego, you're always wanting to be perfect and everything to be presented as good as possible. Um, but in some ways, you kind of need to just let it be kind of like you kind of need to let yourself be presented as you are. You're not perfect and that's beautiful. Just own it. And also getting out of that ego, getting out of that place is what is so charismatic. People think it's about building this perfect ego. It's actually getting out of your ego, laughing a bit more about yourself, getting out of that place of perfectionism that is charismatic and draws in people and makes you magnetic. We also compare social media posts like as if that is who someone is, as if that's who someone, what someone's life is like. It's not like that. Like, we don't even know what is going on, right? We see just one little small piece of their day. We don't see all the things that were great or the things that were horrible during that day. You only see one piece of how their life looks like. And you're comparing yourself to what something that's not even real, right? You're comparing yourself to something that's not, like it's not even real. Like these posts are just little frames and pictures of someone's day stop comparing yourself 
to that. Stop living through that lens of I need to live like that. It's not possible. We all have highs and we all have lows and that's how you kind of, we have a lot, a lot of highs and we have a lot, a lot of lows. Very much this ups and downs that are that is going on, right? Let's not pretend it's not. When you don't have what you want, you can find comfort in the wanting. But when you do have what you want, you can't find comfort anymore. Like it's it's like this people achieve, for example, something they have been striving for a long time, a relationship, uh, success, uh, a goal that they have been seeking for, they achieved it, and then they feel still empty inside. They still feel not complete inside because they thought that, oh, if I just get it, then I'm going to feel good. But that's never the case. There's always a next thing, always a next goal, always a next place to reach to. And that's good. It's good to have goals. It's always good to evolve and reach to your next level. But it's also understanding like the process is fulfilling. It's not necessarily the, the goal that you're going to reach is going to make you feel great and happy and cool. How many times have you achieved something that you wanted to do? For example, you wanted to buy the next uh, iPhone or something, you bought it and it's like after a week you don't really care anymore about it. It's like <laughs> that is kind of a weird example, but it's, it's, it's good, it's visual. Like I thought this was going to make me happy, but it didn't really make me happy, right? It's, it's kind of this childish idea of these things out there are going to make me feel fulfilled inside. That's never the case. That's never how it's going to be. It doesn't mean you don't, that you cannot have goals. You can still have goals and still be ambitious. You can be very, very, very ambitious, still try to achieve those goals. But you now understand that even if you achieve those, there's always going to be a next goal and a next goal and a next goal. So whatever you are seeking out there is what you need to seek within. If you're seeking approval, you need to approve of yourself. You know, you need to give that validation to yourself. No amount of external validation of people approving to you is going to make you happy. It's going to make you satisfied. What you see is that they have a lot of haters and they have a lot of people that love them. And man, <laughs> depending on the day, they will either look at the haters and they feel this overwhelm of hate or they look at the people that love them and they feel this overwhelm of love. You got to find the love for yourself and it's the only way you're going to actually be happy with yourself. If you found this video awesome, if you find it cool, if you find it very interesting, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe. Also, don't forget to go in the comments set in the description. <laughs> don't forget to go into the description, click on the calendar link, you open to a page, you fill in some information and I can get on a coaching call with you. It's going to be an amazing call. It's going to be very, very good. I promise you. And also, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe. I will see you in the next video.